David and Xinzi, today's events will not create a bond that does not already exist between the two of you, but will rather affirm, fortify, and continue this special story that you have written together over the past six years. When he first told me about this girl, I saw a faint spark in his eyes, but didn't think anything of it because Rena lived over 3,000 miles away. I honestly didn't think they would work. So when did I know he was the one? For starters, this was the first person since I ever cared about impressing. And as their relationship progressed, I started to see other hints of happily ever after. I really saw that DQ's loyalty was finally directed towards a female in an old school style of love. The spark in his eyes was now a full on flame and DQ called me that he would bear the cold winters and hustle and bustle of New York City to be with this girl. I'm sure you were the one for me when I first met you six years ago. I was sure when I said I love you seven days after our first date and I am sure you are forever be my very best friend, my partner, and the one who will always have my heart. No matter what happens, I'll always be by your side and together we'll be able to overcome many challenges. Maybe we'll one day even be able to conquer your fear of scary movies and my lack of coordination. <laughs> um, I'm just super psyched for everything we talk about. behind you, stand behind you, all right? Zinza, thank you for being my half-sister for all these years, for teaching me how to march and dance to the beat of my own drums. I'm so thankful we go through life's biggest moments together and with the best yet to come. Love is not about finding the person you can live with, but finding that special someone you can't live without. And it's obvious that DQ has finally found that person. And they have a special old school love that I truly admire. Let's all raise our glasses and toast to DQ and Rena to a lifetime of happiness.